Hey guys, welcome back to more of my videos. Now since the new Mortal Kombat movie is currently out in HBO Max and theatres, I thought it'd be pretty cool to sort of pitch my idea of what kind of characters could include in the sequel. Now, if you haven't seen the movie yet, please watch this after because it's going to probably contain a lot of spoilers. Alright, now here is my list and enjoy! Johnny Cage so we all know the big name himself, Mr. Cage, was teased in the end of the movie, as Cole is going to go to Hollywood to sort of convince Cage to sort of help to join the tournament and fight for Earthrealm. Now I think Cage's role will definitely be a large role, just like in the 995. He will definitely be the comedy relief as Kano was on the first one, and also he was the comedy relief in the original movie as well. I think most of the movie is definitely going to be hitting on Sonya, and they're going to sort of have like a romantic sort of on and off relationship, sort of like a Han Solo and Princess Leia sort of thing. But also I hope to see Johnny Cage like sort of come in some good fights and definitely punches some nuts. Kitana. Now I think Kitana should definitely be part of this movie and if it's gonna be involved with Shao Kahn and if he's like the main bad, it's definitely important to show the Denian Princess. Now, I got sort of a great idea how they actually opened MK2, similar to Avengers Infinity War, they should show a flashback of a younger Kitana seeing Shao Kahn invading the Denia, and sort of introduce this main big bad in a very sort of horrific way. And it sort of adds the lore together, just like how Hanzo was killed in the beginning. Now, her role will definitely sort of be similar to Kano, as she's going to be sort of fighting for Outworld, uh, we could say the bad guys. As Kano is fighting for the good guys, he's obviously switched sides. Just like in the games, Kitana will switch sides with, with Raiden and Liu Kang because I think she'll get influenced by them and realising what she was fighting for was pretty wrong. Sub -Zero. So, we know Bihan is the first Sub-Zero, but there's also a second Sub-Zero called Kuali Yang, and he is the younger brother of Bihan. So Kuali Yang's role in this movie is kind of similar to the MK2 games and he's going to be trying to find his brother's killer in the tournament. Now this can set up a big fight scene between him and Scorpion or either him or Cole Young. So it's going to sort of carry on that feud between the Lin Kuei and the Shirayu. But the difference between Kuali Yang and Bihan that Kuali Yang is actually more of a heroic character but Bihan is sort of a villain. And I think later in the film, Kuali Yang sort of realised what Bihan's done over the years. He then can sort of join with Raiden and sort of fight for Earthrealm. This will obviously set up MK3. But I think Kuali Yang will realise how corrupted the Lin Kuei was, even after taking the mantle of the new Sub-Zero. Baraka Now as it's going to be part of the tournament, I think Baraka would be a great choice to be part of the villain roster. Now Baraka would definitely want revenge because of Belina, and they're pretty loyal to Shang Tsung and Shao Kahn so they definitely want to fight for Outworld. But I can definitely see some really funny scenes with him and Johnny Cage or Cole Young and it'll be interesting because to see Baraka's swords and blades coming in live action. Quan Chi. So Quan Chi should maybe have only a small appearance in this movie because we saw want to kind of connect to Scorpion's storyline because in the first movie, we only get a glimpse of the Never Realm, and Scorpion kind of disappears in the first act of the movie. And for the new viewers, it doesn't explain why he's in the Never Realm or how he's resurrected. And I think Quan Chi is that key. Also, he is the bigger foe in the later on in the games, and having Quan Chi just his appearance in the movie is just showing that he could become a bigger villain later on in the franchise. Cyrax Sector. I think it's important to have these two characters in this movie and the way they should be introduced as, as the, how Bihan was killed off in the first one, the Lin Kuei are definitely going to get involved and especially in the tournament, they're definitely going to avenge Bihan's death. Now what would be great at having the human Cyrax and Sector as we would not even see their, like, the robotic forms yet and they're showing that these great warriors fighting in this tournament and I guess we get a really cool tease in the later films that they're going to obviously Tease the fact they're gonna be involved with the cyber initiative. Scarlet. Scarlet's gonna be pretty similar how Melina was in the first movie, 
but she's going to be serving out World and Shao Kahn and especially in the tournament but she's going to be fighting alongside with Kitana but in a bit of a different take on this story I kind of want her and Kitana fighting alongside with each other and, and she's going to be very jealous of Kitana as she is the princess of Outworld and Scarlet's obviously want to sort of take over that throne and I want to have the relationship to be very similar to Guardians of the Galaxy with Nebula and Gamora. Rain. Now I think Rain would be perfect for this uh, tournament movie um, he was cut in the first one, but I hope he sort of show a bit more of his story than just being like a throwaway character getting killed off, like Reptile. But I think they should keep his lore where he is sort of the half god, um, like prince. But I think uh, Rain would be a perfect warrior fighting us alongside with Shao Kahn and all the outworld warriors. Total Khan. Now, Kolto would definitely should be maybe a general and as alongside as a general for Shao Kahn because we all know in the new games he becomes Khan and I think he's a great way to sort of expand the universe and adding sort of a evolution of what these characters were like before similar to how Cyrax and Sector. I think it would be interesting Kolto as a sort of a general but going towards like the games he obviously becomes new Khan and I think we want to sort of see that in this movie but I don't think he should be sort of a fighter but I think he should be sort of Shao Kahn's sort of right hand guy and becoming his sort of main man. Nightwolf. Now Nightwolf will definitely be a great addition to the roster but not necessarily a larger role. I think Nightwolf will sort of be part of the tournament and sort of Sort of fighting alongside with the Earth Realm, um, but I think his like fights and appearance should be a bit more in the the third film. But I think in the tournament story, I think it's important to sort of introduce a lot of these existing game characters and sort of building the fact that all these fighters are come from different backgrounds and different places to fight in one tournament. And I think Nightwolf will kind of become a great addition to that. Aaron Black. Now Aaron obviously started from MKX, so he's part of the newest games roster. I think it'd be interesting to add him into this movie, and his role would just be kind of similar to how Cabal was. He doesn't really care about what's going on with the battles, he just wants to get paid, and I think he's done a lot of jobs for Shang Tsung and Shao Kahn, so he's pretty known in that world. But I think Aaron would be a great addition to the tournament, and one of the first that the hero has to fight. Kenshi. Now Kenshi will be perfect for this movie and I really hope they actually get either Keanu Reeves to play him. I think Kenshi was sort of inspired by the Matrix or Keanu himself but I think his role will definitely be one of the warriors that Sonya Jax or Cole will find to bring us alongside fighting for Earthrealm and it'd be really cool to see his moves with his sword. I think he'll definitely be a great addition to the roster. But yes, let's hope Keanu plays him. Ermac. So Ermac should sort of be the next big boss, similar to Goro, as Goro was sort of killed off by Cole in the first movie. I think he should sort of take Goro's place. So before you fight Shang Tsung, you have to face Ermac, and that's the way in the tournament, sort of like the ladder. I don't know if it's going to be Liu Kang or Cole going to face Ermac, but he's definitely going to be a very scary foe to face. Shao Kahn. Now Shao Kahn is definitely need to be in this movie. I don't want him to just be a little reference or just a, like a little easter egg. I think he has a very important role especially towards Kitana and I think they should do sort of a Thanos effect very similar to Guardians of the Galaxy how they were setting up Thanos and eventually he has his own movie in Avengers Infinity War. So maybe Shao Kahn should have become like the main villain in Mortal Kombat 3 but still have a presence in this film. Noob Cybot. Now Noob is one of the secret fighters in the MK2 and Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 game. And a big spoiler, if you haven't played the games, he's actually Bihan, the original Sub-Zero. He's sort of a returning character. So Quan Chi actually resurrects him from the Never Realm while Scorpion kills him before. And 
I know Joe Taslin signed up for four more movies, so I think it makes sense that he's going to be playing Noob, or some flashbacks with Bihan. I think Noob's role definitely kind of involves with Huali Yang and his role of trying to find his brother's killer, but really he's still alive. Johnny Cage, Sub-Zero, Kitana, Baraka, Quan Chi, Cyrax, Sector, Scarlet, Rain, Kotal Khan, Nightwolf, Aaron Black, Kenshi, Ermac, Shao Kahn, Noob Saibot. So there you have it guys, that's my list for the characters I want to see in Mortal Kombat 2. Now I've been having other ideas for other characters but as my list has already been pretty big as it is for the roster, I guess they can be included in for Mortal Kombat 3 or in the future of the franchise. But anyway guys, please press the bell icon and watch more of my videos. Stay safe and it has begun.